and gentlemen, Pete Williams from Transformers The Show with a live unboxing. I've literally just received, as you can probably see on the box, the Super 7 Undertank. Um, I've looked on in admiration for a long time. Um, I'm not going to lie, when Alexa's got one, I felt like I wanted one. Um, but, as is always the case, I agreed with myself that I'd started down too many routes of collecting, so I hadn't actually um, done anything about it. But then I thought, sod it. So uh, Comics and Cocktails have been the uh, independent that have enabled this purchase. Ironically, this is the first Super 7 Thundercats Ultimate purchase at the moment. So I've got the Thunder Tank, but I've got no one to drive it. However, it's a start. God, this is so well packaged. A box in a box, I'll be heartbroken if there's actually nothing in it. Oh. Box in a box. Right, here we go. A little bit more manageable. I know it's Transformers the show, but occasionally we tend to diverge into other collectible franchises. I thought it was another box into a box into a box. Always cut away from you with sharp objects. Oh my God. Look at the box art. It's actually a thing of beauty. If only I had the space to display the box art as well. Uh, but sadly, it will be going up in the left. Hope you all tuned into the show last night. Uh, where I made my hosting debut, uh, episode 219. Um, I think it should not go unappreciated. Uh, the marvellous job that Paul Farrelly does week in, week out. You know what the boys are like, like herding cats on occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, can I present to you the latest in Transformers The Show box porn, uh, trademark Transformers The Show. Um, look at the artwork. It would actually, I'm actually gonna try and see if this is available as a print somewhere. Cause this will go wickedly with my Super 7 Thundercats Ultimate Collection that I'm building. Right, no tape on the box. Obviously wanna try and keep it nice. Polystyrene, I don't know about anyone else, but polystyrene gives me the ick sometimes. It genuinely, um, noise it's like fingers on a fingers on a uh blackboard sometimes or nails on a blackboard whichever them so on the outside of the box we've gone to a lot of trouble of the Thundercats emblem I mean they could have coloured it in but you know I don't want to be a dick about it um we've got a transparent roof for said thunder tank Oh, and some safety instructions saying please keep bags uh, away from the young children. Um, so, I'm going to make sure I do that. We've got some fundranium, fundranium, fundrillium um, deposit that will obviously go in the funder. Right. This is the bit I'm most excited about. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about like the best 80s uh, cartoon theme tunes. I didn't parade the Thundercats theme tune, but all I said was, perhaps Mask is better. However, I think it's impossible not to hear the theme tune when you're opening the box. I'm still not sure if it's the best theme tune. Obviously, way on top of uh, Transformers, but um, it's up there, isn't it? Let's be honest. Oh my word. This is something else. I don't even know where I'm gonna put it. Um, and I appreciate, you know, it's a bit late for that. Now I've unboxed it, um, you know, and bought it, etc. This is just oh, 
actually sublime. Um, oh my God, I'm going to do this very carefully. So if I go quiet now, it's because I'm concentrating because I don't want to drop um, a 450 pound plastic toy on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the Super 7 Thunder Tank. Right, let's get it out of his. Wow. Oh my God. So like the original toy, the claws come up. Little guns in there. They can shoot the mutants and all the other bad guys, uh, the pirates and such like. If we can just get a close up of the roof. The Thundercat. The Thundercat emblem uh, that would probably have had a light with the real Thunder Tank. I say the real Thunder Tank, it's a cartoon. Uh, there is no real Thunder Tank. Open it up very gently. It's like a people carrier when they go away on long weekends to the lake. Um, walk in, you get a couple of bikes in there. Um, the Labradors have got somewhere to sit. I wonder if they. I wonder if the Thundercats, being cats, would have had pet dogs. Um, I don't know. If there's ever a reboot, let's see if it happens. Um, the uh, Canon presently has a plastic uh, careful not to scuff the interior. Let's get that out. Um, if we can have a look, if we can get a real look at the, let me move this stuff out of the way, if we can get a real look at the interior, the attention to detail is fantastic. If we look at the sides, if we look at the sides of the, the walls within the tank, even the, even the seats. Would I have loved some electronics? Yes. Would it have bumped up the price perhaps a touch? Yes. But I think it would have been something special. You know, if maybe you could have flicked a switch and the, you know, there would have been some just LEDs in there, maybe some sounds, um, etc. Let's close that bad boy up. And gently close these down. Now onto the uh, canopy. Again, a little laser, a laser, shoot the Thundercats enemies, uh, but never actually hurt any of them. Maybe destroyed, maybe destroyed some, um, maybe destroyed some vehicles, but never actually hurt anybody. Uh, the teeth ready to chomp down uh, metal when they're in the woods, chomping down some wood. Uh, and let's see now how we so there you go All right you can literally just slip off the lid i'll probably slip off the lid and have the transparent lid to be fair um look at the cockpit all right panfro driving around middle earth on his whip tearing it up handbrake turns maybe taking the thunder kittens out showing them a bit of a Fast and Furious, I can imagine a little bit of gangster rap um, cruising in his massive grey pimp wagon. Um, I, what do, I don't, I don't, again, what do you say? The detail in the cockpit is pretty phenomenal. I just, it's a bit like, oh, it's really great. However, I'm going to nitpick. But, you know, some LEDs would have really, I think, added a massive amount of sparkle. Looking at the tank, I genuinely can't wait uh, to start getting the actual Thundercats. I think there's gonna be some, an opportunity for uh, some quality pictures. Um, let's just fix the, fix the new roof. Um, so obviously, 
you know, a panoramic roof. So when they're driving around uh, Third Earth on a summer's evening, they want to be able to see um, all of the delights that nature has, uh, whilst perhaps having the aircon on because it's quite warm. Um, you know, and they can take in the marvels of the scene. It's only a very quick unboxing, uh, guys, just to just to really show you the bit rabbit hole I've gone down. Um, quite cool, made out of plastic. Um, very simple fundranium, uh, fundrillium, uh, whichever way around you uh, like to call it. Um, and Pampros. Doctor Who had a sonic screwdriver. I can imagine this is a sonic spanner. Um, to allow Panfro to continually upgrade the Thunder Tank. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Super 7 Thunder Tank. I've been Pete Willis from Transformers The Show. Please join us every Friday night at 8pm where we will talk about not just Transformers, but my journey on collecting the Super 7 Thundercats. Have a great weekend, guys. Cheers. We'll be building a fort later. I am a trained professional, a uh, professional idiot. Recording. There's me waiting by the window, like a puppy waiting for its owner. So we've got some flaps. I'm more excited about pushing it along the carpet. Less further, more middler. I don't have the space. I actually remember the last time I saw that on a plastic bag. Thank oh, that made me feel funny. Hi to my northern friends. Uh, I've actually already been to the gym, so. Thunder Ketsu, Thunder Ketsu.